We can get out and do a little of this in February. It's not a bad day. I like too that he just he just looked right down the middle of the fairway. We don't really know where it went. <laughs> But that's important when you're on video. Just look like it went to the right place. Yeah, give the thumbs up, just yeah, like he did. Give the thumbs up. <laughs> uh, meteorologist Peter Hall, you, you know, if you went to Linden today to golf, you, you had a fight for a parking spot. Yep. I mean, it was overflowing. I, I saw that as well. I mean, and, and for good reason, too. I mean, it doesn't usually get this warm. But we actually have another day tomorrow where we're at least equally as warm. And I actually think we're going higher. In fact, records are in jeopardy. So let's start right there. So today we got to 58 degrees. It was the second warmest for this state, the record 60. I'm actually going to go for a forecast high of 60 degrees tomorrow, which would break the daily record of 59. Also for Saturday, not only do we have the record high, we're going to be very close to that, but the warmest low for the date also in jeopardy. So these three numbers certainly are possible for the next two days. So today's high of 58, 26 degrees above average so absurdly above average and then it's so high i'd actually go off the scale here because it's going to be 28 degrees above average i'm forecasting a high of 60 for friday right now for saturday i'm forecasting 55. if we get more sun it is possible we could hit 60 saturday too and then we bring things closer to average sunday and monday and then it'll actually feel like a real typical mid February day, Tuesday into Wednesday, and then even going a little bit below average Thursday. And I actually think these numbers may actually trail even lower for Friday and next weekend. So get set. This is a fool's kind of spring pattern. We sometimes get that and we're currently in it because we've got winter coming back. Otherwise, overnight, just in and out of clouds. A brief shower or sprinkle at daybreak tomorrow, then clouds, some sun. Remember, Mid to upper 50s for many spots with a chance of a brief high near 60 mid afternoon. One more brief sprinkle or shower might happen around dinner time Friday. No big deal. And then remember, we're still in ridiculous land here through Saturday morning with temperatures probably for Syracuse not getting any lower than the 40s. Typically, a normal low is 16. So this is like 30 degrees above average. Saturday, the exact high temperature is going to depend on how fast any rain moves in and how thick the clouds are. But you get the point here. We're somewhere in the 50s with some afternoon rain going through. Super Bowl Sunday still looks cooler. Clouds, flurries, and drizzle. High around 39 or 40. Monday morning's okay. We're still watching a new system for the end of Monday into Monday night, Tuesday morning. In the next weather cast in about a half an hour, I'll show you why there's still some uncertainty. Regardless of how much, if any, snow we get, we're then over to lake effect flurries and snow and real typical cold midweek next week. Stanley Law Skywatch, Reency Tower Camera. Wouldn't be surprised to see a pretty sunset with those high mid-level clouds back inside.